STUNNING TURN OF EVENTS FOR A WOMAN ACCUSED BY POLICE OF FAKING HER OWN KIDNAPPING. WELL, NOW THE FBI HAS MADE AN ARREST OF A MAN THEY SAY ABDUCTED THE HUNTINGTON BEACH WOMAN BACK IN MARCH. KKL 9 STACY BUTLER HAS THE LATEST DEVELOPMENTS. UTTER JOY. TONIGHT, NEWS OF ATTORNEY MATTHEW MUELLER'S ARREST SPREAD QUICKLY INTO THE HUNTINGTON BEACH NEIGHBORHOOD WHERE DENISE HUSKINS GREW UP. NOBODY BELIEVED HIM, SO IT'S, it's REALLY BEEN UGLY. Explosive court documents now unsealed paint a picture of Huskins capture for the first time. So calculated, so sinister, you have to read it to believe it. In one email never revealed until now, the mastermind behind her kidnapping and assault wrote, We fancied ourselves a sort of Ocean's Eleven, gentlemen criminals who only took stuff that was insured from people who could afford it. The suspects revealed Denise Huskins was an accidental target. One described how they blinded her and her boyfriend, placed a pair of swim goggles over the victim's eyes, which had tape over them so that the victim could not see. When Huskins was abducted in March, her boyfriend Aaron Quinn told police a group of men broke into their Vallejo home in the middle of the night, put a gun to their heads, blinded them with a flashlight, duct taped their eyes, tied them up, forced them to give online passwords and banking information, then drugged Quinn as they held Huskins for ransom, demanding two payments of $8,500. According to court documents, the suspect broadcasted a pre recorded message giving the victim instructions of what to do. Two days later, when Huskin showed up at her mother's home in Huntington Beach seemingly unharmed, Vallejo police said the couple made the whole story up. Even though the kidnappers publicly stated it was not a hoax, police did not believe them until last month. That's when court documents state another couple, also asleep in their beds, this time 39 miles south of Vallejo, awoke to a group of men in their bedroom who placed a gun to their heads, blinded them with a flashlight, and tried to duct tape their eyes when the husband fought back. The suspects ran off but left behind a cell phone. Turns out, it was Matthew Mueller's. The FBI arrested the 38-year-old Harvard-educated attorney. Today in a press conference in Vallejo, a tearful Hoskin stood with her attorney and her boyfriend. They've been nothing but cooperative, conscientious, thoughtful human beings. And today is a terrific day for them. The kidnappers expressed incredible remorse for kidnapping Huskins. As for she and her boyfriend, they hope to get their reputations back now and find jobs. In Huntington Beach, Stacey Butler, KCAL 9 News.